I know we're, I want to keep you on schedule. Very quickly, I said two tests. One of our tests, immunoassay. The problem is, is that they're not specific. They react to classes of drugs. So, for example, I may get a, a reaction that for uh, amphetamines on a particular test, but amphetamines is a whole class of drugs. For example, these are all amines. It just so happens that two of them are illegal, two of them are not illegal. Two of them are just uh, over-the-counter cold medicines. But my instrument, my first test is going to just tell me, ah, there's some, some kind of amine in there. You're going to have to do further testing to tell what, exactly what it is. It'll react to all of these. It's obviously not going to react to this because it's, it's all based on, it's looking for this key-like structure. So we're going to use chromatography, different types, uh, to come up with an answer. Most of the time when we're doing drug identification, we're going to rely on this mass spectrometer because this is the gold standard in drug testing. All of these are presumptive tests. They kind of put you in a class, but the mass spectrometer is the, the final word. We're using LCMS, a liquid chromatograph mass spectrometer, more to test for wide wired drugs. It's extremely sensitive. This is technology that we didn't have five or ten years ago. We use blood for drug testing for quantitation. We use urine for qualitative analysis or determining just what's there. Once we know what's there, then we can zero in on the blood and tell you how much of it is there. So ideally, you need both specimens. And we have like, these other sample types. I want to um, go ahead and finish here. This is our typical protocol, but I can talk you know, about it with individuals. After, uh, after we conclude the formal presentation, I would like to get uh, the input from the, from, particularly from the assistant state's attorneys about um, a possible change in case protocol that we're contemplating with the Illinois State Police. So that would conclude our formal portion.